Hey, what is going on everybody, and welcome to Fantasia, home of the Melodious. My name's Azalea, and today, gonna be bringing you guys a quick little first impressions video on the new Forbidden and Limited list that's going into effect on January 28th, 2019. And this, my friends, is the exact reason why I have not created a new series of deck profiles, especially ones featuring Luna Lights, because because a lot of important cards are actually going to be coming into the game and some are going to be phased out from this very list. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and just jump right into this. Alright guys, so taking a look at this ban list, we have a variety of really significant changes that are coming forward in the next couple of days. And so looking right here, just before we even scroll down, we see two changes already. Fairy Tale Snow is now forbidden, and that is <laughs> this is a card that uh, people have been abusing for so, so long. Any deck that can just get Snow into the graveyard has immense amounts of disruption because she's not once per turn. So you can keep bringing her back, flipping things face down. It's a highly disruptive card, and a lot of people are very, very happy to see it gone. So um, that's definitely an interesting change. I don't know why they chose now out of all times to hit it. I know it has been coming back up in some meta decks recently. But, you know, they could have hit it a while back and it would have been acceptable back then as well. We see Grinder Golem is now forbidden. Uh, I don't really think too many decks were using Grinder Golem shenanigans. I know uh, Sarija Turbo, I think, used it. Um, but other than that, you know, I don't really think it really came up that much. But I can see why they're just saying, hey, get rid of this card. We don't want to deal with this. Anything that generates tokens is really, really powerful, especially in this day and age. Alright, so we're going down here, we see, uh, okay, um, new Link Monster that got hit right here, Topologic Gumblar Dragon, yeah, it's about time, right, it, this, this card was just, is just dumb, uh, th this was the card after Firewall that everyone just wanted to just be gone, especially with the new Orcus combos and all these shenanigans, like, in my opinion, when it comes to a card game, your hand is a sacred territory, right? Your opponent should not be allowed to just willy-nilly go into your hand and just make you discard a bunch of stuff. Hand loops are the most degenerate, I believe, of any decks that are out there. So, definitely happy to see this card gone. Uh, <laughs> there was no good that came from it. Okay, so moving on, we see, uh, no, two XYZs got hit. So obviously, Rongo Bongo is gone, so rest in pepperoni is that deck that, you know, just used it. Um, turbo out the Rongo Bongo, and then boom, you just won the game because your opponent can't play. So glad to see that gone. Now, Galaxy Tomahawk is also hit here. That's the rank 7 that could allow you to summon as many tokens to your side of the field as possible, and that opened up a lot of possibilities for so many different decks. Um, so, it's actually quite interesting that they're hitting it here. Um, they're probably just going after all of these cards that can potentially create FTKs or just too much advantage, right? I think they're hitting combo decks really hard on this ban list, just looking at this for right now. Um, but yeah, so that's actually quite interesting. Okay, so moving on, we got the spell cards here we see soul charge is now forbidden wow rest in peace dark warrior deck that just turboed into this card right uh soul charge really powerful card a thousand life points per monster really is nothing uh when you think about it so i can understand why it's gone i did like the card though i ran it a lot uh <laughs> it's a really fun card uh rest in peace my local lucenia deck but hey it's okay uh, Soul Charge being gone is probably healthier for the game, especially now in this type of era that we're in, where the game is just, you know, establish a huge board and then you just win first turn. Okay, so that does it for all the newly forbidden cards. Let's go ahead and go down to the limited cards. Let's see if any changes are here. So we see Chaos Emperor Dragon Envoy of the End is now limited, was forbidden. But hey, that's understandable. It got its uh, errata. It was printed in a Shonen Jump. And, you know, it's, it's released to the market now. Everyone can have their copies. And everyone can now play it. Even if you have an older copy, it's completely legal for play now, which is good. 
Uh, Cyberstein coming off the list is quite interesting, actually. Cyberstein was forbidden, now limited. Pretty cool to see. Uh, definitely did not expect that out of all things that happened on this list. Um, but yeah, okay. Uh, quite interesting. Dark Greffer is joining his friend Armageddon Knight on the ban list. Uh, rest in peace, Lunar Lights. So all of the new recent Lunar Light builds that I've been testing, that Sir Eminon has been testing, uh, we uh, we figured out that yeah, Dark Greffer's pretty much a huge part of the deck. Uh, you really need it to help you set up your graveyard, um, but uh, it, it looks like they don't really want Orcus to just jump up to like tier one or whatever. So uh, rest in peace, Dark Greffer. Um, a lot of good starter cards are getting hit in this, which is quite unfortunate, but hey, I can see why they're doing it. Dark Warriors are, you know, the evolutions of Goki or whatever you could say it is. Um, they're definitely really powerful. I mean, yes, they did hit Rongo Bongo, but to prevent any other abuse, they're just hitting a lot of the consistency, the starter cards, right? All these things that um, we'll probably not see again for a very long time. Okay, next off we got, oh, Shurit is off the list. Shurit is limited, was forbidden, oh my god. And just looking down real quick, yeah, okay, no, Ult Ulticon Hawk is, Ulticon Hawk is still limited. Hey, but, but you know what? You know what Fusion is now limited? Oh yeah, should, should all Construct, because that's cool. Should all Construct's a lot at one, but Ulticon Hawk, nah, uh, gotta keep it at one. A little too powerful. We got them prank kids running around, we can't have Ritual Beast overshadowing them in any way, so we gotta keep that Ulticon Hawk down at one. But uh, it's really nice to see should all Construct and Shurit return. I know Necroz fans are definitely very happy about this, especially because they have incantations right now, um, and incantations are getting more and more support in the upcoming sets, so ritual players are kind of rejoicing, which is pretty nice to see. Uh, going down to the construct though, construct is fantastic, it means that you can actually build light targets into your decks uh, with Shadals, and it's going to be a really powerful card, uh, depending on what light monsters you dump with this, so pretty pretty uh, good. Okay, so going down to the spell cards, that was all for the monsters, uh, we see, uh, oh wow, Book of Moon's still limited, okay, Brilliant Fusion is now limited, oh man, they really, ha they're really hating on combo decks right now, wow, <laughs> Brilliant Fusion getting hit to one, at least it's still searchable with Preta Plants, but now if you're playing the Preta Plant engine, uh, it's probably too risky to just play one Brilliant Fusion, you might want to slap in some Instant Fusions or some other form of, uh, search targets, right? Uh, but Brilliant Fusion getting hit actually does kind of hurt some, uh, some really creative deck building ideas that I see going around. Uh, definitely hurts some of my decks, too, if I decide to, you know, play a Brilliant Fusion to get some extra normal summons, but I can, I can understand why, but it's also not been that relevant in the meta, so maybe this is a preemptive hit of some sort. Okay, uh, Gold Sarcophagus Limited, this is a hit to Thunder Dragons, because Thunder Dragons really like that Gold Sarcophagus. Um, so there we go, there's that. Magical Mid... Magical Mid Breaker Field. I always want to say Mid Field Breaker, but Magical Mid Breaker Field is limited, and this is the field spell that allows you to um, prevent your monsters from being targeted or destroyed, um, and it just provided you a really safe uh, way to set up really oppressive boards, uh, even though you're, if your opponent has hand traps, right? Veilers, whatever. Uh, they can't target, they can't destroy stuff, Ghost Ogres, they don't work. Uh, so that's definitely something that's uh, very interesting to see get hit. Okay, uh, moving on we see, wow, Scapegoat and Slash Draw, what? I can kind of understand Scapegoat, it's a huge, huge like boon to any deck that can just set it, have it lift for a turn, flip it, and then four tokens, and you go free, Boral Swords, Boral Loads, you know, Trick Stars love this card, this is basically their ace card. Um, but yeah, I can, I can see why it's limited. Uh, <laughs> we're get, at each ban list, we're just creeping toward it getting forbidden, right? Uh, who would have who would have thought the day that Scapegoat Joey's card would get uh, limited on the Forbidden Limited list. Okay, Slash Draw, it's, it was a meme, guys. It, Slash Draw was a meme, but now it's limited. <laughs> can you, I don't even think you can play Slash Draw when it's limited anymore. It's essentially a dead card, right? Because you need to excavate or draw into another copy of Slash Draw in order to do the OTK or FTK or whatever. Um, so I, I guess this card's dead. <laughs> you just can't use it anymore. Alrighty. Okay, so moving on, uh, nothing semi-limited, you know, is moving or nothing is uh, newly hit. Um, but going down to the very bottom, we see, oh my god, a lot of stuff coming off the list. This is going to be really good.
Okay, so first off, Insector Hornet. Insectors finally getting some love there, getting their stuff off the list. Uh, pretty interesting to see, pretty good, especially since they have their uh, their Link monster as well. So it's also not bad. Uh, so it's quite interesting to see how that casual front will, will go there. Uh, I doubt it's going to be like anything tier 1 or tier 0 game breaking. So it's nice to see it come back. So, you know, give those, um, give those players that really love the deck some cards back to play with. Necros of Branak is no longer on the list. Yeah, whoa, they're really showing Necros some love here. That's a uh, that's quite cool. It's quite interesting. Uh, I wonder if you know if someone's gonna. I, I swear somebody's gonna take this and like top at some regionals or like get a feature match at YCS and just hype this deck up. This deck always gets hype, even though the cards were hit. You know, Branak, Trishula, um, not Branak, Trishula, uh, Branak, and like Unicorn, all the stuff that are uh, at one, like. It, <laughs> the prices on the market fluctuate so much, e even when it sees no relevant meta play. So, really excited to see how this will maybe potentially shake up the meta just a little bit, since we're not real. Apparently, Konami hates combo decks, so uh, I guess uh, since we didn't see any Sky Striker hits or Altergeist hits or anything like that, it's gonna be quite interesting to see how this new format shapes up. Exiton Knight is no longer on the list, it didn't matter, nobody played more than one anyway, and I don't think anyone really plays it at all anymore. Um, it's probably easier to make a Black Rose Dragon now than to make Exciton Knight, which is quite funny, because a lot of decks now have just various different levels, right? Because Link Summoning doesn't care it's, uh, about levels or anything specific like that. Okay, Interrupted Kaiju Slumber is no longer on the list, while wow, three board wipes, and it's also really nice to see because of the fact that Kaijus are an out to very oppressive boards, and Kaiju Slumber also allows you to search for those said Kaijus. Now, this will definitely impact uh, Kaijus, especially I think because they're getting new support. I think this might be like a, you know, a way of uh, saying, hey, Kaiju fans, come buy our new set. We got some new, <laughs> we got some new cards for you, so have your have your ace card back um, yeah so Kaiju Slumber off the list uh, I don't know how I feel about that I feel like it's it's one of the more powerful uh, more powerful board wipes out there compared to Raigeki and Dark Hole of course Raigeki only nukes your opponent's boards but seeing as most boards have a lot of negation or they don't invest enough into it for you to actually play the Raigeki for Right? Like, Alter Guys can control when they want a multi faker and then disrupt your turn, and by then it's probably too late to go ahead and Raigeki something, right? Uh, or Sky Strikers and stuff. They just sit on a single Sky Striker monster, and then you just Raigeki. Okay, they'll, they'll take the L on the one monster, or they'll just protect it, right? Uh, so, you know, these kinds of board wipes have a. Uh, They've kind of seen a decrease in play uh, in recent months, I'd say in the last year. So it'd be interesting, maybe this will shake things up, maybe we'll see a rise in play with this, who knows. Monarch Stormforth though, more forms of removal, Monarch's uh, comeback? Probably not, uh, because uh, they need Aether, right? So I think uh, Aether or Aether, however you pronounce it, is still at 1, I believe, but yeah. Anyway, uh, Eradicator Epidemic Virus, one of my favorite viruses, is no longer on the list. That's quite interesting uh, to see. It's going to be very interesting if anyone's going to use that against Sky Strikers. First turn, Eradicator uh, Epidemic against them, and calling spells? Whew, everything's gone, right? It's going to be quite cool. Uh, Infernity Barrier, though, no longer on the list. Great, Infernities are coming back. <laughs> Uh, Wind Up Magician is no longer on the list. Oh, interesting, they're bringing back, wow, uh, Insectors, Wind Ups, all these old competitive meta decks, you know, they're, they're getting some of their ace cards back, which is quite interesting. Uh, TG Hyper Librarian, huge for synchro decks. Uh, I don't think people play three, correct me if I'm wrong. I do see a lot of people playing two when it was semi-limited for a lot of, you know, shenanigans with double Librarian draws and stuff. But uh, let, let me know if, if three Librarians actually staple, if it's, you know, unlimited. L speaking of limits, uh, limiter removal is also at three, I guess promoting that Cyber Dragon play, the OTKs. <laughs> I don't know, it's definitely not as potent as it used to be, although it's still very, very sacky as a card. But yeah, um, I, I guess OTKing without 
without burn or FTK scenarios is fine. You just want to make a big monster and smack somebody with it. Konami is okay with that. If you want to just uh, solo solitaire through your deck and then draw cards and burn your opponent, I guess they're not okay with that. Um, so yeah. Anyway, that is it for this ban list for this uh, this one. This, there's a lot of changes. Sorry about the very long video, but there's a lot of changes. Uh, just scrolling up, you can see all of these uh, remarks that they make on the side. Um, personally, uh, my least favorite thing about this ban list is that freaking Ulti Kanahawk, man, where are you? Ulti Kanahawk is still at one, guys. Still at one. Prank kids can't let them have competition. Uh, my favorite thing about this ban list, uh, probably gonna be Shadal Construct, actually. <laughs> I've been saving my copy, have my entire Shadal engine ready. Oh, it's gonna be amazing. Uh, I'm gonna hopefully find a way to use this in some of my decks. Anyway guys, uh, that's gonna be it for this video. Let me know in the comment section down below what's your favorite and what's your least favorite thing about this new forbidden and limited list. I love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. But anyway guys, thank you all so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh content, and leave a comment down below letting me know what I can do to improve. And until next time, Take care.